Bien. Hello, little European roller. Good morning. How are you this morning? Very well. You see, it's even talking to us this morning. It's saying hello. Now, these European rollers, I'm surprised he's actually not fluffed up this morning because it is very chilly. Although now that we become stationary, it's not so bad at all. It's fairly pleasant. But it looks like this little bird is waking up. He's kind of opening his beak a little bit and just getting started for the morning. And I wonder when we're going to see the last of the European rollers here for the summer because they definitely their numbers are not what they were um, about um, two three weeks ago you would be able to drive and see a european roller maybe every four or five hundred meters whereas now i actually haven't noticed too much in the last two days and this little cold snap that we've had is definitely going to be driving a number of the migratory birds away and in the background you can hear the monotonous larks calling they've been around extensively the last few weeks and still giving out their monotonous tone. It is a very, very pretty call, but they do not ever shut up. They just keep going all through the night, early hours of the morning, late afternoon. They do call quite a bit. Isn't that a beautiful bird? Now, as the name suggests, as, it, as I was discussing, they are going to go up into Europe and, and migrate away from South Africa so they'll start heading northwards and the reason why is because this cold weather that we have effectively it slows down the amount of insects that are, are out so you'll find that very few insects are able to sort of survive in this cold weather and so we get a vast reduction in the number of insects that's available now this bird is a insect eater um, and so for them there's just not enough to sustain the population of them that arrive so they then start to head north to follow the warmer weather and head up into the northern hemisphere where it's going to be warmer and there's also going to be rain and it's going to be far better to be able to survive now, also with these European rollers is that they actually don't breed in South Africa so they just kind of come out here and make use of our summer conditions and then they fly back to the north and they will actually breed in the northern hemisphere so that's where they're going to be off to and that's why they're very, very quiet in the summer months Jim, number 24 on your bird list well, it's a good bird to have on your bird list and one that we're not going to be having around for too much longer so glad that we managed to add it 